What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What killed all these animals? Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome back to Chapter 7 of Call of Cthulhu. So this is the name's bookstore, and we're about to enter the bookstore and discover what's inside it. So, ooh, that looks like a bit of blood on the window. That's not a good sign. Let us have a little look inside and see what's inside. Now, what can we see? So, go inspect the bookstore. Where is the bookseller? Where indeed is he? I can see something up here, though. What's Freud's this? Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. Ooh. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Okay. That's given me a little bit more uh, experience of my uh, medicine. I've got six points, actually. Um, maybe I should start boosting some of this. Investigation. Let's get that up. There we go. One point left. Um, spot hidden on full. Uh, and I don't want to go... We're already down um, strength now, so let's keep, let's keep going down strength file. The strength file. <laughs> In aisle six next to the cereals is the strength file. Okay, right. We're looking for more stuff. Old diary. Diary of the pastor's wife. The pastor declared himself to be the prophet. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced he must listen to the voice in his head because it holds the truth. Okay. He's not coming to the Christmas party. Um, I'm looking for all these books first. What's this? History of Darkwater, Volume 2. Ooh, so a colony led by Reverend John Wickwood settled on the island. They named the island Darkwater because of the dark shade of the sea. They believed it was because of the peculiar colour of the rocks surrounding the island. They erected the first buildings, which were the manor, the church, and the cemetery. The rare documents and handwritten notes they left spoke of nightmares and deviant behaviour, and they disappeared. Okay. Hmm... Let's go over in here first. This looks like a, a dead end. Books on, well, drawings on anatomy. Uh, peculiar golden chalice, which seems to not fit at all in the rest of the, the room. What's this? Volume 4, Dark Water History. Okay, in the 19th century, as the American whaling industry reached its peak in the rest of the world, whales gradually disappeared from the water surrounding dark water. This, this uh, appeared even more mysterious because up until then, the region was a favoured refuge for for whales, I assume that means. Uh, after months of pursuit, Skylar returns to port with a gigantic creature on board. Its crew asserts the sea monster had eaten all disappeared whales. Now... That's interesting, because I was led to believe in a story that they brought a massive whale home. Are you saying that they brought a beast back? That doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound good at all. Um, okay. Let's have a little look. Anything behind here? Is this like a... What's behind? What happened here? Ooh... I don't know, but we're going to find out. Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Okay. Blood. From here. Seems like amateur work. Yep. Okay, so they broke in there. Then what? Okay, this looks promising. Someone tall left his footprint. A man, probably. Okay, now is that as he was leaving? Now, it looks like there's a struggle over here. What's this? Ooh. Shiny. The broken bottle or something. Hang on, what's this? No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was he hurt then? Okay, so where's he come from then? Does he come from over here somewhere? It looked like he was escaping. Pretty much at the edge of the thing here, though. Um... What else is there? All right, step through this again. So he's, he's broken in. Then he was escaping over there. Is there anything in here? No, that's that's off limits to me. So I'm missing another clue somewhere. 
In the middle, perhaps? No. What's this book? We've already done that bit. Hmm. Hang on, is this back room open? Can we go around here? Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, the painting. Oh, there's a couple of clues. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? Crowbar. What killed all these animals? Lots and lots of dead rats. Uh, ooh, hang on, there's something behind this painting. What is behind there? Is what it a safe? What made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Is it a cult symbol? Whoa. Okay. What the? Charles Hawkins? What? What is this? Is he trying to break in? And he got hit by a curse? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So he was trying to break in here. But she's got it open. Oh, look. What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? That's pretty freaky. Okay. Whoa. Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Okay, Charles Hawkins went to retrieve it. What did she hide? Any more clues over here now? Whoa, this is a bit freaky. It's all distorting. Okay. Can't see any extra clues in here. There's gotta be something else in this back room. There's gotta be another clue in here. Wait a minute. Here we go. Great put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins. Everything's case. come back to Sarah Hawkins. Okay, let's leave the scene. Interesting. Now, what's this book? What was he hiding over here? Oh, the St. Green as well. A strange amulet. Ooh. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. Yeah, let's not touch it. What's this then? Great a note. instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Okay. If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt I'm in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in the place of reality in order that they can be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organised chaos, I must admit, reason unveils prevails in the end. What? If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find a combination of the safe, I would ask they deliver its contents to the safekeeping of my friend, Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. Um, it's the contents of the safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon. Okay. That looks pretty serious stuff. Hmm. Right, more stuff we can loot. Let's have a look. What's is this? everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? They seem to be. Everyone loves the sleeping pills. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Okay. This key that bears the Elder Sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and branch whose purpose is to push back the forces of the great old ones were engraved at its centre. Every point points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. Ah. Okay. Oh, another book. Oh, is this a medicine book? Yeah. Getting our medicine funk on. Let's examine this. I don't have a clue. 
No, I've not got a clue what... I've got to open the safe, but I need to find these uh, cylinders for the clues. Now, where are they going to be then? Oh, whoa, there's so much to search Arkham for. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Collection of poems. Okay. How many volumes are there in this collection? The Key of Solomon. Another volume by Arkham editions. Okay, I've got a horrible Arkham feeling. Editions. These are all going to be... How many volumes are there in this collection? Yeah, I've got a horrible Another feeling. By Arkham yeah, I've got a horrible feeling Arkham these are all going to be to do with the, the puzzle. How many volumes are there in this collection? I don't know, but I don't count Roman numerals, so I'm pretty much screwed with that. Um, so I'm looking for these cylinders. Okay, what's this? Okay, are these are cylinders? The cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Okay, and what about this? Of a medicine book, I think. Nice. Right. Is there a um, record thing? Oh, what's this? Of a medicine book. Yeah, is there a record player around? What about in here? Did I see a record? I don't think I saw a record player. Oh, there's chess set. Things are not looking good. They're definitely not looking good because I don't have a clue how to do this puzzle. Oh, this is let me use it now. To the do the rubies and sapphires make up a specific motif? Um or well, motif. Hmm. Let's make sure we've examined everything and it seems to be Oh here we go. Right, cylinder number one. So it's it's three cylinders, so there's gonna be three combinations. So let us try and play this one. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. So that's the chalice. To be the guardian of the Grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Okay. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. Okay. To be the guardian of and these red drops. Like okay. Alright, let's precious use that again. Can we listen to cylinder two? Gold. To be the guardian of the Grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. Right, cylinder I two. I understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our White Queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of Okay, so we've got the first one, sounds like it's a clue in reference to the gobbler. Second one to do the chessboard. I thank you again for the anthology and this is through of the, the works books. of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. Right, so that's 9. I never tire of browsing through them. Okay, what about... Um, I'm going on a hunch here, so... The Chalice of Knowledge. How many red rubies are on this? How am I going to tell? So there's a crack in that there. I can see one, two, three, four, five. Now, ooh, now let's let's count again. Let's count from here. So we know that there, the crack. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So there's five rubies. And the second one's through the chessboard. Now, is that in a configuration at all? And it was nine for the last one. I'm just trying to think what relevance this could be to the chess. The queen has little protection. The queen has little protection. But, ooh, I'm trying to think if in chess the queen has anything to do with... The queen has little protection. The Queen, is, it, is the Queen a numeric number? Let's go back and look at this. Use that. Right, so it said nine for the... Was it nine for the the third one? So it was the, the first one was the gems. So it was this one. This was the first one, wasn't it? What do we say it was? It was six. It was nine for the last one. It's this one. 
The queen has little protection. Let's try zero then. That not validated? That is not validated. Hmm. Let's go back again. Listen to this talky talky thing again. Um Dear friend, I thank you again for it the did say nine for the third the one. of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume nine, as a thought and other horrors yeah. seemed particularly relevant. It's this chessboard one now. Red rocks, like precious stones lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am okay. willing to pay to know its secrets. The chalice of knowledge. Hmm. Do the rubies and sapphires, it said. Maybe it's both of them. So we've got the one on the crack there. So that's, what did I say it was before? So that's three, four, five. It's five. Did I put six in by mistake? Let's have a little look. So the first one should be five. Uh, let's try and validate that. Oh, I thought I'd done it. It's this, the, the queen, I'm, I'm still not too sure about this. I know it's a terrible way of doing it, but I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna try every combination for this, this one. No. No. I could be, I could be wrong for the, um, the thingy bob one though. That number one might be completely wrong. Whoa, it was three. I don't have a clue why the queen was three, but it was five, three, nine. I wonder what it was then, the queen. The queen has no protection, three. Who knows, but anyway, that's the number. My safe cracking skills paid off. Okay. So we've got like the Nomicron, whatever it's called from the Evil Dead. This looks like a really terrible book that I should be not be reading. Why, why would you want to look at that? Okay, it's... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think books should be interacting with you like that. Okay, wow. This is a lot of power. Whoa. Okay then, uh, yeah, so we've cracked the safe and, uh, yeah, it looks like we're back off to the, uh, we're back off to the Institute. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that there for now, do this as a short one today. That was chapter seven, that was how to crack the safe. Thank you for watching, see you next time.